this is the new version of the Bonavita thermo drip uh, maker with the thermo carafe. Uh, as a lot of you have probably heard out there, um, they changed the carafe a while back. They took it from a glass line carafe to a stainless steel line carafe. And they also now, they put that same new carafe on the new version, the 1900, and now they've changed a few other things. They made the screen under here a little bit different. So it, I can't tip it over, it's got water in it already, but they made it a little bit different, the whole pattern, so that it drips different, a little, you know, a little bit different down onto the coffee. They also changed the look of it, yeah, as you can see. Uh, one change I did notice is, this is the new fil ground filter holder, flat bottom. This is the old one, oh, a lot like a Melita. It's got the, uh, the cone bottom. So uh, I taste tested both of them. We brewed them both last night with the same coffee. They were very comparable. I think it was so little difference, I would say. I was having a hard time finding the difference. Um, this one also has another feature that if you hold the button for five seconds, you can actually have pre-infusion on top of your coffee, which is putting a small amount of water to soak the coffee, and then you pr push it again and it will brew the whole pot. These hold, and both of them, nothing's changed there, just the looks. Eight uh, cups on this particular brewer, it is uh, 40 ounces, it's five ounce cups, eight times five, 40. So that's pretty much what you have. It goes in here, it brews up through the, it goes down in here, the water, it uh, brews up through the center, gets hot, brews up through the center, comes across this arm, and then showers down onto the coffee. Bonavita uh, has said that these will keep the coffee plenty hot for up to an hour. That's what their claim is. Uh, we need to do a test down the road, and we will just to see what we found. But for today, we're going to go by what they say. So let's get some coffee in here. We already have the water. We're going to scoop out some Velton's Twilight. We buy it in the five pound bag around here. Wonder why. Those are tablespoons. So we have that, put it on top of here. And you want to preheat this before you brew down into it. It, it, it improves the longevity of how long this uh, thermo container is going to keep it hot. So let's turn it on. And we'll be back in a little bit. It takes about eight minutes, not even eight, about seven minutes to brew, six and a half, seven minutes, and we'll be back and give it a taste test. So we brewed our eight cups into the thermo pot. Bear in mind, these don't have a heating element under here. They can't because this is a thermo pot. The glass craft would have a thermo. So yeah, we're done. We'll just put this over here. When you get done, here's a lid. Uh, through the magic of somebody getting the threads right, this is perfect. It stops right there, and then this is open. So it stays closed unless you push that, which is nice. It keeps it hotter. Oh, yeah, that looks good. Mmm. Yummy. Yeah, I'm quite liking that. Nice temperature. You know, if it's too hot, it's bitter. It scorches your tongue. If it's too cold, it's sour. This is just nice. Um, yeah, you want to taste it? Here, take a little glurk. What do you think? Get back to me on that. Very nice. So that's the Bonavita 8-cup Thermopot, the latest version, the 1900 series. Look for it on our webpage. We've got it. Uh, you know, we, I, we did run out for a while, I will say, because it's such a hot item. But we've got it back in, and hopefully Bonavita can come up with the supply and demand. Keep up with us. Thanks a lot, folks. Check us out on seattlecoffeegear.com, and keep watching our videos, huh? Thanks. Thanks.